Good morning, everyone. I'm Sue Smith. I'm the Director of Driver Services here at Westside Transport, and we want to thank you all for coming and sharing in this fantastic event. Many of you um, have a personal story. You know someone. Maybe you, perhaps you're a survivor yourself. I've been a part of the Westside family for 17 years now, and over the 17 years here, I've worked on many projects with my coworkers, but none of which are more meaningful than this project, launching our Convoy for a Cure trailer. So today is about a celebration, celebrating all the hard work that all of these men and women have put into this project. And I also want to take a minute to celebrate all the cancer survivors that are here today. I know many of you personally, and also to honor those of, that are no longer with us today. This is for all of you. There are many people here today who honor us with their presence, sharing in this wonderful occasion. Some traveling a great distance to be here. I believe we have people from Des Moines and Indianapolis, the Quad Cities, just to name a few places. We at Westside understand that all of us have very busy schedules, so we truly appreciate you being here. Our distinguished guests this morning include Iowa Senator Rob Hogue, Iowa Senator Liz Mathis, Cedar Rapids Police Chief Wayne Germain, Community Outreach Sergeant Christy Hamblin. Thank you all for being here. We also we also have representatives of several of Westside's key customers and suppliers with us. So thank you as well for all of your support. For those of you who may not be familiar with our company, Westside Transport has been a part of this community for over 40 years. Its beginnings were very humble, a single tractor and trailer. And today we are a company of 500 trucks, 2,000 trailers, and 650 dedicated employees. provide truckload transportation services to many Fortune 500 companies, primarily throughout the Midwest, and we have terminals in five cities. Westside was founded by, and has been guided by for 43 years, Don Vogt. And now Don would like to share a few of his thoughts about today's launching of the Convoy for a Cure trailer. Ladies and gentlemen, Don Vogt. Good morning, everyone. What a great turnout for our Convoy for a Cure kickoff. I want to thank everybody for coming today. Cancer has touched all of our lives, often more than once. Cancer claimed my mother many years ago when I was just a teenager. Over the year, cancer has also taken loved ones from many friends and acquaintances. Just a few short months ago, cancer took my father-in-law, otherwise a very healthy man. It was a very relative short period of time that he had. I know there are probably people among us today who have someone close to them who might be fighting cancer as I speak. So I know it's not news to you when I say cancer is personal for all of us. I have the privilege today of speaking to you. Not because of anything that I did, other than a financial contribution Andy, my wife, and I made, I had no part in this effort. What we're celebrating today is a result of the ideas, planning, and hard work of many, many people who make Westside the great company that it is. Many of you here today are aware of inside the building in the hallway are display cases of the many people who have been with Westside for 20, 25, 30, and even more. I take great pride in knowing that Westside is the kind of place where people choose to spend their entire work careers. And I'm proud of the many things we have accomplished together. 
But I must say, I've never been more prouder than I am today. The Westside team took it upon themselves to come up with this idea, to brainstorm the many different ways to raise money to make it possible. They put forth, put forth the hard work to see it through. I'm proud of them, and they should be proud of this accomplishment. Let this be another important step toward finally finding a cure for cancer. Ron Joseph, our Chief Operating Officer, will tell you a little bit more about the journey that led to this moment and what we hope to accomplish going forward. Thanks again for coming to this occasion. Thanks, Don. Thanks to everybody for coming today. I appreciate your time. I know it's a busy work schedule, but we're here to celebrate something, and we keep talking about celebration. And what our employees accomplished is a tremendous feat, and we're all very proud of what they've done. And, uh, you know, I've spent the last two weeks watching the Olympics and seeing Team USA win all the medals, and I think that's just great, and it's, it's a great accomplishment. But those are individual accomplishments. What the group did today was a team accomplishment that had no benefit for themselves, but had benefits for the community. And we are so proud that they came and made this happen. Um, how did this all happen and how does it work? Well, uh, last December, Sue Smith, who's passionate about everything, and, is, and when she thinks about something and does something, it's, it's, it's all in, it's 100%. And she came to me and she said, I'd like to purchase a wrap, which is the outside of the trailer, to make awareness for, for cancer. And I said, well, that's a great idea, but what else can we do? And we talked a while, we thought about it, and we made a deal with her. I said, if you can raise the money to collect enough to buy a trailer, Westside Transport will match every mile we run with a portion of the revenue. So this trailer, for as long as it lasts, 12 years, 14 years, for every mile it runs, is going to be generating money for research for cancer and to support the people. So the, the employees of Westside Transport have made a mark that will last a long time. And for them to do it in six months is, is incredible. And uh, we're very proud of it. And we want to thank uh, Wabash who made this trailer. If you're not in the trucking business, it's a very pretty trailer. And uh, quality trailers who helped support this effort and make it all work for us. So they had a big part of it. But um, we really want to uh, say what a great day it is for the people of Westside and for all the employees. And uh, we look forward to many years of generating uh, funds for cancer. So with that said, I'd like to uh, introduce uh, Marsha Holly, who is the uh, Senior Director of Outreach for American Cancer Society. Did I get that? All right. <laughs> $31,000? Are you kidding me? I want to hire each and every one of you to come work at the American Cancer Society, please. <laughs> Raising that amount of money is no easy task. Um, it takes time, it takes dedication, and it takes commitment. And all of you have demonstrated that here at Westside Transport. Thank you. Your passion your unwavering support for your fellow workers, family, and friends who have been affected by cancer is just plain awesome. Each of you at Westside Transport need to be proud of your accomplishments. You have set an example and you have left a legacy. How many people can truly say that? Thank you for the wonderful trailer that creates awareness for all cancer. But most of all, thank you for caring. On behalf of cancer patients and their caregivers, please know you have and will make a difference in their lives. 
thank you so much. You guys are awesome. As we've said many times, cancer is very personal to all of us. And we have a gentleman with us today. He's been employed at Westside for about two and a half years. And I came to know his story one day. One of my coworkers said to me, you know, we have a driver here whose 13 year old daughter is in a battle, um, you know, fighting uh, non Hodgkin's lymphoma, I believe is the exact cancer she has. And I would really like to do something. She's like, Sue, will you, will you send her something? And I'm like, well, of course, you know, get me the, inter uh, the information. So I got the information and then soon after we sent her a nice bouquet of flowers. She was just coming off of treatment. And soon after that, I got to meet her father, uh, Keith Bison. And Keith is so inspirational, um, you know, just telling his story. It's on our website if you have a chance to listen to his interview. And so he's going to talk about his journey and why this day is so important to him um, as a father and as a Westside employee. So please help me welcome Keith Bison. Thank you, Sue, for that introduction. And uh, as you mentioned, uh, cancer has affected my family, so I, I really appreciate the opportunity to be a part of the uh, Cure. Uh, in April of 2015, uh, my 13-year-old daughter, Ashley, was diagnosed with stage 4B non-Hodgkin lymphoma. Uh, I'm happy to say that Ashley can't be here today because she's in school. She's back in school. We all, we all know that cancer changes lives, and now I actually have a teenager who declined an opportunity to skip school and eat cupcakes. <laughs> Uh, when Ashley was diagnosed, the cancer was uh, spread through her body. She had, uh, it was in her lungs, her spleen, her lymph nodes, and she had a tumor from her shoulder to her hip. Um, in the whirlwind of tests and results and consultations that followed, the one statement that always stands out is, five years ago, things would have been different. So what, so what about 10 years ago? 20 years ago, what happened? What changed? Why were things different for my family? Convoy for a Cure will raise awareness and raise money to help fight cancer. And ra raising awareness and charitable giving, that's what happened. That's what made it different for us. Ashley's treatment was better. The support she received was better. And I learned that that support is required and a critical part of her treatment. A free blanket, a gift card, an easy to read pamphlet for friends and family, a stranger behind your meal, all priceless. So I know looking ahead, in five years, things will be different. In 10 years, things will be different. Convoy for a Cure will help. So again, thank you for allowing me to be a part of this. Wow. Next, I'd like to introduce Nora Hammond. And Nora is very active in our community from Gyms of Hope. Thanks everyone. We are so happy to be here today to celebrate this occasion with you. If you don't know about Gems of Hope, we're a phenomenal support organization um, that accompanies families through their cancer journey and we do that in a variety of different ways. We have programs for kids, we have scholarships for high school seniors, we're most known for the gifts that volunteers make that go to cancer patients as they're receiving their chemo. And so we give about 700 gifts away in the corridor right now. So again, happy to be here today. Um, this is just phenomenal. This demonstrates 
what happens when people come together for a cause. We know about that at Gems of Hope. We're 11 years old and we were founded by three women who came together because they were passionate about helping people through their cancer journey. Um, so what an accomplishment. Congratulations to you all. Um, the work has just begun for you today as you see this trailer through the rest of its life here uh, to make money for local cancer charities. Um, I think this, this is going to bring more awareness to the cancer cause. Certainly we've all been touched by cancer. It's either directly or maybe we've watched it from a distance. It doesn't matter. It affects all of our lives. And we can all think about um, the fact that cancer uh, has, a, it's a battle that's been fought and lost far too many times. And so this money that will be raised that can support cancer and support the research that needs to happen, um, it's just an incredible thing. I wanted to just offer a quote from Stuart Scott, who recently passed away from cancer, and he said, you beat cancer by how you live, why you live, and the manner in which you live. Um, I think it goes without saying that the people at Westside know how to live. Um, you guys are making a difference here and now and today, so thank you for all of that. Um, being in nonprofit, Gems of Hope knows how hard it is to raise money. Um, it's never surprising to me, though, that people will come together for a cause like this. But it's surprising and it's phenomenal to think that you guys came together and you sold candy bars and you had pancake breakfasts and popcorn sales and koozie sales and all of that raised this money that goes into this beautiful trailer and wrap today. So congratulations to you all for those efforts. Um, I want to just again say that I think what this trailer can do um, for our community is wonderful, but I hope when it's out on the road that it also ignites some change when people see it and see the awareness and um, maybe they stop for a minute, maybe they take action. I'm not sure what it'll be, but I think it has the potential uh, to have a huge ripple effect and that in and of itself is just an amazing thing. So we again at Gems of Hope want to congratulate everybody at Westside Transport who made this day possible. Um, the good work that you are are doing has just begun today and will change tomorrow for the better. Thank you again very much. I want to elaborate on something that Nora said. It kind of reminded me when the trailer was making its way here from Wabash National over by Indianapolis, uh, our driver Pam Jordan who brought the, the trailer here said it was amazing how many cars were, you know, driving by and honking and waving and thumbs up. And when she stopped to get gas, you know, how can we help? How can we contribute to the project? So I, I think that that's a really great point is that this is just the beginning of what this trailer um, is going to do. Again, cancer is personal. And we have somebody in our community that many years ago lost a sister to breast cancer and instead of you know being sad and sulking she got the fight in her and she organized a group of women and they are going to tell her she is going to tell her story to you today her name is cindy young and she is from the especially for you race thank you sue um that was a very nice introduction by the way <laughs> As you know, many of you know that I did lose my sister to breast cancer 25 years ago. And as a result of her death, we have the Especially For You Race Against Breast Cancer. It's held every October. This year is our 26th annual event, and we're so very, very proud of this event. It's become a community event, and it's one that the Cedar Rapids community has embraced. Just like Westside Transport is embracing the cause and the cure for cancer, so has especially for you. So I think a big round of applause needs to go to the West High Transport employees because over $31,000 to raise, and this is gorgeous, and it's going across our great nation. It's fantastic. <laughs> goes across our nation it's going to have an impact as it travels across our country because like Sue said people are going to see all of those ribbons that stand out there it's not just breast cancer it's not just lung cancer it's all cancers and Westside Transport says you know we need to find a cure and I stand behind that 125 300 percent because we do 25 years later, we still do not have a cure for breast cancer. 
I not only lost a sister to breast cancer, but I also lost a sister to non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. So cancer is personal. It hits all of us. We can't walk into a room with 10 people and you don't know someone who has been impa impacted by cancer. So my hat's off to everyone here at Westside Transport. You have done a fantastic job and I'm so proud to be part of it. Thank you. Besides all the people in our community coming together, we know that when we want to affect change, we also need the support of government, local government, state government, and even our United States government. Today I'm very honored that we have Iowa Senator Rob Hoke here who would like to say a few words on behalf of the state of Iowa. Senator Hoke. Isn't this a beautiful day and a beautiful event? Thank you, Westside Transportation. It's an honor to be here. It's an honor to be here today with Liz Mathis, our state senator. And it's an honor to be here with all of you. Uh, Keith said something that really struck home to me, which was, think about if it had been five years ago or 10 years ago or 20 years ago. Well, 27 years ago, my mother died from colon cancer. And I am convinced that if she had had the care and the treatment that was available today, that she would not have died at the age of 62 when I was just finishing up college. Um, it is personal, and I think Sue has just said something else, that it is not just about what individuals do, it's about what we do collectively as a community, as a company, as a community, as a state, a country. And, and I want to share a little bit of good news, which is we still lose over 6,000 Iowans every year from cancer, and that number is too high. But we have today over 130,000 Iowans who are living with a cancer diagnosis. And we are making progress, and it's like Keith alluded to in, in my mother's experience, that if we had the colon screening today that we, that then, that we had today, that she'd be alive. We can do this. So some of the successful accomplishments we've had in the Iowa legislature, we passed the smoke-free law, and it made a difference to help deal with some of the cancers that are up here, and that makes a difference. And if we work together, we can continue to make that difference so that people get the screening, the help, the prevention, the treatment, the support that they need. And I am convinced absolutely that if we work together on, uh, on the cancer problem, yeah, there might be a cure, or there might be a thousand cures so that we can drive those numbers down and help people live out safe, healthy, productive, um, prosperous lives rather than having them cut short by this terrible, terrible disease. And we need to stand with people who have cancer, who face it, and together we can build that better future. So thank you, Westside. This truck is awesome. It makes me think about wanting to be a truck driver. Wouldn't that be fun to tool around the country with that truck? And together we can educate people and we can attack all of these problems with a thousand cures at work. Thank you so much. I just have one question, or actually one thing I would like you all to do. If you are a cancer survivor, stand up. If you're already standing, wave your hand. If you are a cancer survivor. If you know someone, family, friend, coworker, who has battled cancer, or is battling cancer right now, stand up and wave your hand. Look around, everyone. This is why we're here. This is why we're here. And now, closing comments by Ron Joseph. Thanks, Sue. It really hits home when you see everybody who has been affected by it. But, uh, you know, I look at the clock and we're early. Remember that West Side is always on time. <laughs> so, but I really want to thank everybody for coming. And um, 
Now you can track this trailer on our website, which is Convoy for a Cure, and there's a uh, there's a satellite communication tracker in it, so it will track it around the country, and we'll be able to give you a total where it is, how it's going, and we're going to have uh, updates on it regularly, so you can see the impact of it and how it's generating uh, the, the right stuff for, for cancer. But uh, before you go. Um, Thanks again for coming. There are cupcakes up there. Uh, there are some uh, giveaways and everything else. So please grab one before you go. And thank you very much and have a great day. And we appreciate your time.